well so in this all these uh, different options and everything whatever as i am explaining here everything is there in this document and now that you need to just go through these all documents so just now the diagrams which i have drawn it is there here that you can see and next is related to this diagram whatever the theory part is there that already i have given inside this also you must have to read this uh, particularly theory part also so you just uh, have to look on this theory parts also what all these theory parts are and it is even here clearly visible that c programming will be saved with the dot c extension after successful compilation of c program native code or the dot exe file will be generated which is platform dependent and that code cannot be used on any other operating system it's a very clear so you just have to go through the documents which i have given and as by like the way documents itself i am taking this classes i am explaining things in the class itself so you will be finding completely synchronized with the documents and other things now uh, we, i have just given one question here why c c programming languages uh, why in c programming language native code is available whereas in the case of java native code is not available that is one important thing why in the case of c programming language native code is available whereas in the case of java programming languages native code is not available see just now i have explained here in the case of in the case of c programming languages right it is it generates the native code here right so c language which is there it supports a uh, static loading whereas java supports the dynamic loading which means that in the case of c language whatever it generates it will be there as it is whereas in the case of java it generates it uses it and after the use it destroys it completely right the same thing i have just written in this uh, theory part here you can just go through that it's uh, java supports the dynamic loading where the memory and in this so you can just have a, a look on this particular concept and the question now the very very important point here the important point especially in these cases here is what is this what is this different terms as well as the terminologies which we are using in this first one as i am saying is the source code what exactly source code is so just now i was uh, talking about that we will discuss these all terminologies one by one one by one what exactly it is so source code the code the code which you are writing which you are writing writing the code whatever is being written by you is called as the source code similarly once you are compiling the dot java file and after successful compilation you are getting the dot class file which is called as the bytecode so the dot class file whatever the dot class file which we have is called as the bytecode about this i have just given the theoretical definitions also native code again it is a machine code now i'll be just now discussing about what is compiler what is interpreter jit compiler jvm jre and jdk all these things i'm just going to discuss it if you want you can uh, have a note on this or else it is there in your documents also well so here first now or you can say that is the before this itself i was uh, explaining something about the source code byte code native code uh, compiler interpreter jit compiler jvm jre and jdk also right in this only let's say or, or before that once you can have a look on this that what all the different set of definitions as i have given into this these all are the different set of definitions which i have given you just have to go through uh, through all of these things here uh, how what it is and how it is going to work and all other things well so see here what is next now java compiler what exactly java compiler is right so all these definitions i have given just now i am going to explain it but before explaining all that things we are just going to have a look on these basic questions 
just remember it for the platform dependency and independency related platform related questions related related questions here we have the platform related questions whether it is a platform dependent or you can say that is the independent that all questions i have just given i was explaining the same thing in this now before that here we have some terminologies which is a basic terminologies and that we just wanted to discuss what is that basic terminologies source code byte code native code compiler interpreter JIT compiler, JVM and all other things, right? So now I'm explaining that here. Understand? See, we will start from very, very scratch level. Let's understand here. I'm just writing one program, right? First of all, what is the platform? First of all, what is the platform? When I am talking about platform, so your Windows operating system, Windows operating system, what you are writing is your platform. Platform, this is the operating system, which we have this one as an platform as well as the operating system we are calling or even you can call it as an now the operating system what we are going to. So in which operating system you are going to write the program. Well, next associated with this here now, I am writing some more things here. That is the hello dot Java file we are writing. All right. I will be just writing the programs practically also what it is. So first, at present, you just remember the few things which I am explaining. Try to get the doubt in this. If you are having any doubts, right, you can immediately ask. In with your corresponding difficulties here. Now, this particular one, as I am calling it as a source code. Source code. In a very simple format, as I am saying, the code which you are writing is called as the source code. The code which you are writing is called as the source code. Right? Now, after this year, we have two options. We are calling a term called as Java compiler. What is this now? It is a Java compiler, right? It is a Java compiler. When as I'm talking about Java compiler, so Java compiler, what exactly Java compiler is? Understand here. Java compiler is a program. What is that? It is a program. Theory part I have given in the document. So the same thing as I'm just explaining for you. That the Java compiler which is there is a program. It's a program with the name. With the name. So Java compiler name is Java C dot exe. This one is the particular name of this compiler, Java C dot exe. Java C dot exe is the name of Java compiler. Remember it, the name of Java compiler. Name of Java compiler, right? Understand it here. Now, what is the task of this Java compiler? So this Java compiler is specially responsible for two things. The number one is to check the syntax of the language and the second one is to generate the byte code. If first one what it does checks the syntax of the language and the second important point what I am explaining you here is that is generates the generates you can say that is the byte code that is the task of compiler so well i'm explaining here two things number one is java compiler right java compiler what is our compiler it is a program what is that it is a program 
so when i am saying that it is a program then in which language that program is so you can say that aap keh sakte ho ki java.c.exe .exe jo extension tha aapko kis programming language mein milta tha so which was c programming language in that the resultant file what we were getting was the .c extension so you can say mostly that it's been developed in the c programming language well now as i have told you the task of this compiler so here you are going to get uh, it's a dot class file you are going to get which we are calling it as a byte code so hope at present you understand what is the byte code also the code the code or the resultant file which is coming after the compilation of a java program or as i again i can repeat the resultant file which you are getting after successful compilation of dot java program is called as the dot class file right it is i hope again it is clear to you next now